We're back, people, and today we're breaking down film on Julian Hill, Miami Dolphins tight end, undrafted out of Campbell, and I became away, I came away very impressed with him in this second preseason game. I think in the first one, he didn't get to do a whole lot, and there wasn't too much, you know, too many plays that he got to play, but in the second one, they give him a lot more snaps. They give him more than Higgins, which could mean a couple different things. Either they've seen enough from Higgins and trust him, or they're even liking Hill even more, but he came out blocked better than he did, I think, in the first game. Had some impressive blocks like this chip block on the defensive end here, showing off some power. He's a He was a seam pusher in college, like definitely a threat as a route runner. Shows off some athleticism in now. In this tight end room, there's some undrafted... I think Brandon Peely has the best chance out of the undrafted free agents to make the team. But with the tight end room, Saubert got hurt. He also hasn't looked the greatest. Tanner Connor still on the, you know, PUP. These guys, Elijah Higgins, Julian Hill, they both have a chance to make the roster, honestly, with how it's looking. Um, so hopefully maybe he'll step up. I think, you know, he's got a f bright future. Um, if he keeps playing this way, I like what I saw out of him. And like, I s thought he had potential coming out of Campbell, just his athletic ability, his size pushing down the seam. And then he looks even more physical than I expected. Look at him just absolutely take that guy off his feet. Very impressive, especially from his pre-snap positioning. Like you don't really see this often where the guy playing tight end that chips the defensive end is aligned inside especially by a full technique and then he just gets very wide sets it up sells it you can see some power there we'll get into the you know the other plays very soon just came away definitely more impressed than i did after the week one game and i'll show some week one plays as well because he had some good plays there but it was even more in the in the second game this is definitely the area where he'll look the most comfortable which was chipping at the line of scrimmage getting out and uh making a catch making some smart football plays we'll watch this from the other angle here just go doing a good job he looks pretty comfortable in the initial parts of these pass pros getting engaged with these defensive ends slowing them down squaring them up everything pretty clean here especially like he probably could have held this guy up the whole time if he wasn't just you know getting a nice little chip on him extend and then just you know find the space he sees the space right out initially after making contact find the space get your head around catch it make yourself an easy target and then transition upfield as quickly as you can um really want to see him work some more routes he hasn't had a huge opportunity to run like much of a route tree yet He's shown some promise, but that's something you definitely want to see more of. And I want to see more yards after catchability. He showed a little bit of yak, but it hasn't been enough yet where I would feel super comfortable with him. Uh, it's just more of an opportunistic thing that he hasn't had a chance yet to really make a bunch of people miss in space. So I'm hoping to see more in the preseason week three game, but definitely improvements, uh, which I like to see out of these young tight ends because tight end is very important in this offense. And after Durham Smythe, it's really up for grabs. This is a pretty nice play from Julian Hill. Pretty smart uh, as a move tight end. Like to see this on the move. Uh, could have been better with his technique, but sometimes you just got to get in the way, make heads up football plays. And, you know, as an undrafted rookie, I like what I saw here. He's, you know, slight motion. They give him just a little short in motion, and then they snap, so he gets a little momentum. But 91 shoots to the hole after following this puller, which is a smart play from him. And Hill kind of feels this, so he slows him down. He gets that left shoulder into him to slow him down. Which, if he just exploded through, he had a good chance to make this play on the running back. But he slows him down just enough, but still is able to go through with his block and get his body on the corner there. Um, he gets pretty bad hand placement. Could have been better, but with where he is, he could have just held on. So it's nice he just kind of throws his hands up, doesn't get the hold. But he just puts himself in a position to, you know, take those guys away and gives, you know, Ahmed the angle there to get to the edge. Very impressive to at least get his body on two guys. Love the mental part, really, of that play. Like I was saying earlier, this is what Julian Hill was doing in this game. Initially blocking, then releasing out after that. Looking very comfortable. Um, would like to see, you know, obviously didn't make the guy miss after the catch. Just not a huge opportunity. He probably could have felt it a little bit or been a little more anticipatory. But great job again, slowing his guy down. He's one-on-one -on -one with the defensive end. He kind of stonewalls them at the line of scrimmage. Getting very aggressive at the line of scrimmage as well little wide with his hands but you know those things can use work and then release off of it work through the pile make yourself an easy target for the quarterback he's showing off some pretty good mentally his um he kind of carries himself into this defender could have maybe cut up field but at least it's nice that this guy comes in at full speed and he's able to at least show off some play strength some core strength some balance to initially look like he was going to stay on his feet which is important he just gets a little bit wrapped up there but it just show that he has some capability to at least bounce off of tackles uh that's just looking to the future uh possibilities when he gets an opportunity to actually break free after those plays so yeah 
just more of those checks and releases out of Hill. Looks very comfortable in that area. This was Hill's biggest uh, play of the night receiving wise. Just get down into the flats, play action boot. He sets this up pretty nicely. Shows off some speed to get to the corner. Carry a guy at least for a few yards. But just another good job. I mean, it's a little bit different than the pass pro type of play. But this one, he's just getting engaged with a defensive end again. Throwing his momentum that way, using it against him, change direction, sink his hips, get out of it. Pretty solid hip fluidity there. And then catch the ball in space and just get up field. I mean, he gets hit about at the 25, and he's able to carry him for about 8 yards, which is nice. Um, nice to see. I just want to see a little bit more. Let him run a route, you know? <laughs> he didn't get it. He hasn't had a ton of chance to run routes. I, was, I think there were some plays in the first game where he ran some routes and looked decent, um, but just not enough sample size there yet to really uh, know what he's got in that category. Love this block out of Julian Hill. Love it, love it, love it. Love a guy who can block out in space. Just destroy a DB, put him on his back. Really like to see that from someone who's, you know, not necessarily was known for his blocking coming out of college. He played more of like a big slot for Campbell, and he just gets to the second level instantly. This guy shoots inside, comes the tackle's responsibility, and he instantly just goes out, finds 32. He stays under control. He squares him up. He takes a great angle. Um, very good, and then gets low leverage hands placements really good <laughs> this guy just goes absolutely flying to the ground finish get a nice little pancake on your resume uh out of julian hill was definitely more impressive as a blocker than i expected him to be just can't wait to see it until they give him a chance to push that seam um i will show him running the seam in a play later it's just he didn't get targeted i really want to see him targeted down the field here it is the play with elijah higgins that had that big catch we get to see him pushing the seam Looks pretty smooth, doesn't get the target, but we'll watch this initial part of this play again. He's attacking down the seam, takes a wide angle here, because this guy's in coverage on him. He takes a wide angle to avoid the linebacker that's carrying him, but also get this safety to open his hips. So he's almost kind of getting doubled initially, and then he just, boom, as soon as he opens his hips, he takes that hard stab to then get to the inside. If this ball is thrown right there, it's a potential touchdown. Like, he's got separation. You can see the speed. You can see he's very comfortable on that specific play pushing the seam. I just want to see more. And then, also, heads up play after Higgins makes this catch. Heads up play. Throw his body, you know. Doesn't need to throw a big block on a DB. Get a potential penalty. Just shield. Use your positioning to help Elijah Higgins work down the field. Just heads up play. Definitely is uh, pretty smart for an undrafted rookie. I just want to show this play because it's kind of funny. <laughs> just Here's him running around and just... <laughs> throwing a linebacker to the ground obviously it could be a penalty i mean they, they didn't call it but he just i mean we'll go back and watch it from the other angle but it's just funny to to watch you can see the power though you know you can see the potential to possibly create because there's different ways to create separations you know with your athletic ability uh football intelligence you can understand how to attack different angles leverage and sometimes you can just create separation with pure play strength uh and sort of subtleness here he's not very subtle with it but just using himself to knock this guy to the ground he's just he's got to become you know a little more savvy with those types of moves you can get away with it you just can't fully extend um and as a tight end you got to be able to create the separation with your physicality and you can see at least you know the potential is there with is there with that but it's also kind of funny to see him just absolutely destroy a guy down the field last play then we're gonna break down we're gonna break down a pretty impressive run block where he's an inline tight end which is nice to see just him blocking in different areas, just creating some displacement there on his defender. This is a really good, actually, by a lot of people blocking. Uh, I broke this play down in Elijah Higgins and Robert Jones film because they both did a great job uh, when they're pulling, and Hill is just down blocking here, and this guy ends up being straight ahead of him, but he gets down. He's trying to you know, help on the combo, but he doesn't. Uh, this, com this guy shoots in inside, goes one-on-one -on -one with the right tackle, so he just sort of squares up this edge defender, drive him down, use his own momentum against him, and help seal him off. And then once he's in a better spot to drive, he drives him down, creates that space, uh, helping create that lane for Chris Brooks. So just impressed with him overall uh, these first two games. I would say the first game, he had this, the few impressive plays that I showed throughout this. But that second game, he really stepped up, uh, got a lot of more snaps. Either that means, you know, they wanted to see more out of him, or he was potentially, you know, uh, on the lower end of the roster and they're just like you know we got to throw some guys out there late but he was playing pretty early on he was also playing very late on so it's just could mean multiple different things really so but with the tight end room he has a chance to make this team uh let me know what you guys think down below and uh make sure to like 
and a comment. I just said that basically, and subscribe. So, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. I'm gonna talk really deep because everyone thinks I'm a child, <laughs> which I'm not a kid, by the way. But whatever. <laughs> uh, later, guys.